Thank you. I'm Jonathan Williams, President and CEO of the nonprofit organization that is part of the team that plans and oversees LA Fleet Week. I also uh, run the Battleship Iowa and National Museum of the Surface Navy. That's my primary objective or role. We're excited to welcome the men and women of all branches of our armed forces to LA Fleet Week 2024. For the first time in 13 years, a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier is part of Southern California's largest Memorial Day weekend event. How ironic that it's America's favorite carrier, the USS Carl Vinson, visiting America's port, the Port of Los Angeles, bringing it all together in Los Angeles. Annually, LA Fleet Week impacts over 250,000 people through more than 100 different community service projects, activities, seminars, displays, and band performances in neighborhoods across the 1,000 square miles of the Los Angeles region. It's an opportunity to connect to the, the community with our nation's military and the role in safeguarding freedom of the seas, the lifeblood of our international economy. We invite you to attend one of the numerous events occurring throughout Los Angeles, culminating with the festival and ship tours right here on the LA waterfront at the Port of Los Angeles in San Pedro. This activity would not be possible without the numerous people and organizations that make it possible but especially the community and the core planning team. So representing our core planning team today is from the U.S. Navy is Rear Admiral Sardiello, uh, Rear Admiral Brad Rosen, and then we also have the captain of the uh, Carl Vinson here, Captain Thomas. Mayor Bass in her office, uh, we're joined today by the Deputy Mayor, Deputy Mayor of Infrastructure, um, Randall Winston. The Port of Los Angeles recognized uh, Port of LA. Uh, Commissioner Williams is out here. Um, Port Police Chief Gazy and the Port Executive Director Gene Soroka and several staff members. City of Los Angeles EMD Ger General Manager Carol Parks. Uh, once again, the Port of Los Angeles Police Department. Uh, I also saw Deputy Chief McManus out there and uh, Captain McGuire from the City of Los Angeles LAPD. Uh, the Battleship Iowa team and the USO. I'm most proud of what LA Fleet Week has accomplished for our city, state, and nation. As we approach major events such as the World Cup and the Olympics 2028, we can be confident that the city of Los Angeles is better prepared because of our efforts. As the world faces some of the largest challenges to freedom of the seas, we can be confident that our sea services are prepared to face the threat and Americans have a face to those safeguarding it. I invite you to join me this week in experiencing Los Angeles Fleet Week and make sure you share your favorite highlights and tag our social media at Pound LA Fleet Week. So our first speaker is the Los Angeles Deputy Mayor of Infrastructure, where he leads Mayor Bass's infrastructure policy and alignment of public works and transportation initiatives. Deputy Mayor Winston's career spans law, architecture, and public service, which collectively have shaped a career focused on advancing equitable, sustainable development. Please, please join me in welcoming Deputy Mayor Randall Winston. Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. What a, a beautiful day. Uh, I want to thank you for that kind introdu introduction. Again, my name is Randall Winston, and I serve as the Deputy Mayor of Infrastructure for Los Angeles, Mayor Karen Bass. It is an honor and a pleasure uh, to be aboard the USS Carl Vinson, a vessel rich in history uh, as we continue honoring the legacy of Los Angeles Fleet Week. You know, this week our opportunity is to continue learning about the incredible vessels that protect our shores and to meet some of the Marines, sailors, and members of the Coast Guard who serve our country. As the Judge Advocate General in the Army National Guard, it's a particular special honor to me to join in on the celebration welcoming our service members back. Now for the last seven years the Los Angeles Fleet Week Foundation and many of those behind me have been dedicated to supporting and advancing the mission of the annual LA Fleet Week event. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the families throughout Los Angeles who have loved ones at sea or serving throughout the world. Know that our city is grateful for the sacrifices that you are making as well. 
Once again, thank you to all the service members and veterans with us today. Throughout Fleet Week, I encourage everyone to take a moment to interact with our visiting service members and express your gratitude for their service. Thank you again. Thank you. I actually missed an important person in the list I have, Lieutenant General, General Cedarholm, who is right behind me. Um, I kind of told him he's my security force today, but he is a wonderful man that's uh, here representing the Marines, which are an important part of our uh, core team uh, and sea services. So I kind of have to admit, it's pretty cool standing on the deck of the aircraft carrier. How many people think it's cool to be out here? Anybody? Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Our next speaker has led the Navy's California Fleet Week planning since assuming command of Navy Region Southwest on the first day of LA Fleet Week 2022. He's a 1995 graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy, and he was designated as a Naval Flight Officer and served in numerous roles, including commanding, commanding Naval Station Norfolk, our nation's largest Navy base, and today is responsible for Navy shore installations for six Southwest states. Please welcome who I call LA Fleet Week's homegrown Admiral, Rear Admiral Brad Rosen. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. Happy Fleet Week, everyone. It's truly wonderful to be here. Deputy Mayor Winston, thank you for inviting the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard here to celebrate Los Angeles Fleet Week, which in just seven years has become the gold standard of all Fleet Weeks. We're all really excited to be here and hope our participation matches your extraordinary efforts. Thousands of our sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen will take part in events across the greater Los Angeles area this week, engaging with you, the public that we serve. Navy Band Southwest and the 1st Marine Division will perform concerts in neighborhoods across the greater LA area. From the Grove to Dodger Stadium to Mission Hills, to Venice, Disneyland, and Angel Stadium, our uniformed service members will experience LA. We'll be volunteering on community service projects like Habitat for Humanity, serving meals to our disadvantaged neighbors, and cleaning beaches. We'll be seeing all of LA's legendary sites. We'll be at the ballpark, and we'll be observing Memorial Day ceremonies in Long Beach, Rancho Palos Verdes, and Pacific Palisades. And of course, we're going to Disneyland. And most importantly, we are here to meet all of you. We want to know who you are, and we want to share our stories with you. We want to tell you about our motivations for service, our experiences in ports around the world, and the sense of pride and satisfaction we feel in a noble cause. Our sailors are making an impact at an extraordinarily young age, on a level rarely seen in the civilian world. At ages 18, 19, or 20 years of old, they are leading their teams of their peers and overseeing multi-million dollar equipment. With over 60 cutting edge career fields to excel in, American sailors are the world's most adept and resilient warfighters. Service to our nation is ingrained in the very fabric of this country. And service in the Navy is more than just a job. It represents a chance to serve something bigger than ourselves. I encourage all Angelinos to come out this week to engage with your sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen. Listen to their stories of service and adventure. Perhaps those stories may speak to you. And if what you hear inspires you to answer the call and join our ranks, we look forward to welcoming you into our Navy family. On behalf of the members of the Sea Services, I extend my sincere gratitude to all the citizens of the Los Angeles community for this warm welcome. Thank you again, Deputy Mayor Winston, for hosting our sailors and Marines here in beautiful Los Angeles. We look forward to an incredible week that will strengthen the bonds between our sea services and all of you who call LA home. Thank you. Thank you, Rear Admiral Rosen. You know, we were visited by the Long Beach PD helicopter, so it's good to see Long Beach want to be part of this, but we are in LA. A little bit jealous. So Rear Admiral Rosen, I mentioned, was first introduced to LA Fleet Week in 2022, but I'm pretty sure our next speaker has not beat. Uh, born, raised, and residing right here in San Pedro, 
Our next speaker has over three decades of government experience serving the Harbor area and all of Los Angeles. He has probably attended every fleet week since beginning in 2016 and is a great supporter of the community. He also is a proud uncle of two nephews that serve in the Navy. Please join me in welcoming our friend, council member from the 1-5, Tim McCosker. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Tim McCosker, council member of the 1-5. And I guess I'll say it everywhere. I say, I'll say it here too. 1-5, we used to be the 15th council district. Now we are one district, five beloved communities. I represent Watts, Harbor Gateway, Wilmington, Harbor City, and my hometown of San Pedro. And just like folks in, in military service, what we try to do is we uplift every single person in our district. Everybody counts. And you're right, Jonathan, I do go way back. I go back to Navy days. Remember Navy days? <laughs> and every these events are so fantastic, and they do serve the entire region. They certainly serve the entire city. They certainly is great uh, for the 1-5 district. Everybody from Watts to the Water loves this event. And we have events all over our district. We have events in Wilmington. We have events in, from, from the near and far throughout the city. But what does it mean to the community? It is really critically important and valuable and wonderful for my residents who may not have any military service or may not have a couple of nephews in the Navy to be able to engage with our military branches, especially our ocean-going branches, to be with the Navy, to be with the Marines, to be with the Coast Guard. This is a community on the water. This is a community that depends upon what I call the blue economy, that one in nine jobs in LA County depends upon this port, this port complex of LA and Long Beach. And I don't think folks appreciate enough that what allows us to have this world trade is the freedom of the seas, the protection of the ocean, making sure that goods can come and go. In a port community like this, like a harbor area, where we depend upon these great longshore jobs, we depend upon goods movement, I don't think we often enough lay our heads down at the end of the night after a long day of work in the harbor and think to ourselves, thank God for the Navy and for the Marines and for the Coast Guard, making sure that those goods can move. This week is an opportunity for us to engage with you, to see your fantastic toys, to be with you as human beings, whether it's downtown over a drink or a burger, or to be on a tour with you, to see you as human beings and thank you for that service. And it's vitally important to us, and I hope it's beneficial to you as well. I will also say personally for me, and Jonathan alluded to it, and I wasn't going to mention, I do have two nephews that grew up here in San Pedro uh, that are both uh, sailors. One is, uh, he'll be a firstie next year. He's, got, he's in Japan right now in training, but he'll be out and about in the world after he finishes up in Annapolis. And I have, and his name is Finbar, and I have another nephew, Aiden. Aiden is a uh, lieutenant on the USS Mason, a destroyer uh, in support of the, uh, the Eisenhower and he's in the Eastern Mediterranean. And he's been there since August. Oh no, excuse me. He's been there since October of last year. He's been there since October of last year. And I often pray for him and for his colleagues. And I will tell you that every time we think of Aiden, we think of every individual sailor, everybody in the service that is protecting us abroad, protecting us here, uh, we thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you, Councilman McCosker. I do have one more shout out out there. I think I see the captain of the port back there from the U.S. Coast Guard. So I forgot one of those important partners from the U.S. Coast Guard uh, back here. Thank you. So this view is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm sure we're going to see Tim throughout the week at all the various events. I think I heard on good knowledge that you are um, at Dodgeball and Galley Wars. Galley Wars for sure. Galley Wars for sure, testing the food. So we'll see you throughout the week, hopefully with everybody else. Um, but really, you know, this would not happen 
without the amazing partners of the Port of Los Angeles. The Port of Los Angeles is the busiest container port in North America, and it is a direct beneficiary of free and open oceans. As you look at this port complex, it's just amazing. It's a leader in shipping and global, global logistics, and uh, the next speaker has led the port on a series of historic record-breaking performance since taking on the role and making enormous investments in the LA waterfront. Without his support and without the port's support and leadership, LA Fleet Week would not exist as we see it today. So please join me in welcoming the Port of Los Angeles Executive Director, Gene Soroka. Thanks, Jonathan, and welcome everyone to the Port of Los Angeles. We call ourselves America's Port because the cargo, passengers, and services that traverse our complex reach each one of our 50 states and all of our congressional districts. We truly are the engine of the American economy. And it is a life, once in a lifetime experience for many of us today to stand right here on the USS Carl Vinson. It is truly awe-inspiring. On behalf of the entire Port of Los Angeles team who has joined me here today and some who are working across this 7,500 acre expanse, I'd like to welcome our friends Rear Admiral Brad Rosen, Carlos Sardiello, and captain of this beautiful ship, Matt Thomas. A special thank you to the officials who've already been named here today, including Deputy Mayor Randall Winston, our council member of the 1-5 Tim McCosker, Los Angeles Emergency Management Department, and, and friend Carol Parks, who came down from downtown today, and our commissioner, who is a resident right here in San Pedro, I. Lee Williams. I'd also like to acknowledge the hard work of the Battleship Iowa and its president, our friend Jonathan Williams, who every year makes LA Fleet Week a reality for this great port in our city and makes it just a little bit better, I think you're going to knock it out of the park this year, my friend. I'd also like to recognize our Deputy Chief, Greg McManus, and the leader of our head of public safety in Los Angeles Port Police now for nearly a decade, Tom Gacy. We're also thrilled for the first time, thank you, Bruce McCray of the foundation who has single-handedly led fundraising for more than a decade now to make all of this possible. Bruce McCray, you truly are a friend of the Port of Los Angeles. And we're also thrilled for the first time to welcome the United States Air Force and the California National Guard to our LA waterfront this weekend. How privileged we are to have you join us at this annual celebration, an event that just keeps growing in size and popularity every single year. When Los Angeles first began hosting LA Fleet Week back in 2016, I, I don't think any of us realized just how this event would evolve, how important it would be to our community, and it would become the largest celebration over Memorial Day weekend in Southern California. Over the next six days, we're expecting more than 100,000 guests and visitors to our waterfront, and they'll have an opportunity firsthand to be up close and look at active military ships, check out dozens of military and first responder displays at the expansive LA Fleet Week Expo and experience daily aircraft flyovers and simply enjoy a tremendous amount of fun with family and friends. Fleet Week is an event offered by the United States Navy at only a handful of American ports. So we're proud to be among those chosen locations year in and year out for an event that's honoring some of the real superstars in America, the incredibly brave women and men of our United States military. This includes sea services, which are especially close to our hearts here at the port because of what we do here every day. The Navy's mission has an outsized significance for all of us and the city of Los Angeles. The business of our port and all ports around the world depends on the free flow of commerce across seas and the right of merchant ships to travel safely without the threat of aggression from bad actors around the world. There's so much on our minds and so much on the minds of the men and women who go to work every day. 
without the United States Navy and its deep-rooted commitment to the guiding freedom of the seas principle. We as a nation's largest trade gateway would not be able to do what we do for so many so successfully, nor would we be able to fill our role in helping facilitate more than a million jobs here in the five county Southern California area and nearly three million nationwide because of the work we do here in Los Angeles. So Rear Admiral Sardiello and Rosen, please know that our workforce in the maritime industry will always stand at the ready to support the mission of the United States Navy. Over the coming days, our LA Waterfront will proudly host some 3,000 visiting military personnel who serve on the visiting ships to LA Fleet Week. We're honored to have them here as our guests as we are every year. And we'll do our very best to make them feel at home during their stay. And while here, we hope they have the opportunity, just as our council members said, to meet so many of us here in the community. And that really is the heart of our DNA. From the commodities that we move through here at this port to community, this is your Port of Los Angeles this weekend every day into the future. And finally, Captain Thomas, if you would allow us to indulge a tradition here in the Port of Los Angeles is to present a first arrival plaque and how proud we are as Americans to welcome the USS Carl Vinson today, May 22nd, Port of Los Angeles. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gene. You know, I, I uh, always forget a few people, so I need to make a shout out because Gene beat me to it with Bruce Double D McRae over here. Gene won. And thanks, Gene. I'm never going to live that one down. Um, also, have for our organization to have a couple important people and um, board members as well. I've got Doug Herman uh, here and then uh, Jeff Correll. Should I bury you, Jeff? So Jeff Burrell uh, is a, a, a great volunteer of uh, LA Fleet Week and one of the co-founding uh, vice presidents and his uh, official job is supervisor of Ventura County. So if they see you on the news, and I'm sorry if you get in trouble up in Ventura County. Not my fault. So, you know, LA Fleet Week is much more than meets the eye. We've all seen how fun it is, all the great expos and exhibits. But you know, a major component of the event is an exercise and a seminar focused on what's called defense support of civ uh, civilian authorities. Can't get that out. In basic terms, it is military support of civil authorities for major domestic emergencies, law enforcement support, and other domestic activities. Leading those efforts for the City of Los Angeles is Carol Parks, an experienced emergency manager with 36 years in the career field. Today, she leads the city's efforts in coordinated response and recovery activities during times of disaster and major planned events. So please join me in welcoming Carol Parks. Good afternoon, uh, Carol Parks, General Manager for the City's Emergency Management Department. It is a very humbling and honorable experience to be here shoulder to shoulder with government officials, military officials, private sector, and non-governmental organizations Truly, this is a historic day for the city of Los Angeles. And as we open LA Fleet Week 2024, I encourage all of Los Angeles to take a moment to celebrate and honor all of our military forces, especially the Navy, the Marine, and the Coast Guard partners who have joined us for this very special annual event. As Jonathan mentioned, along with the celebrations, please know that public safety partners, emergency management, law enforcement, fire services, we are working together, looking at our plans, looking at all of our training curriculum to make sure that we are really prepared when LA has its worst day. We love the special events and we're all excited about from 2026 to 2028 from the World Cup to the uh, Olympics and Paralympics, but we know that 
During those times, anything can happen. With the threat environment that we are living in, it is important that we all be prepared. So we will celebrate all of you today who have joined us, and we encourage you to take a moment to think about your personal preparedness. Are you and your family and your loved ones prepared for whatever the future may hold? I thank uh, all of my port partners, Port of Los Angeles, LA Fleet Week Foundation, Jonathan and your amazing team. It's truly a wonderful experience to partner with you to celebrate this week. Thank you again, and let's look forward to a great 2024 LA Fleet Week. All right, thank you, Carol. Now, I was hoping he'd come in with a grand entry, but I guess I'm not getting that. I thought we were gonna do a F-18 flying in, but that's not gonna happen. But you know, there's nothing cooler than being on this flight deck, unless of course you've landed on a flight deck like this. And our next speaker has accumulated over 4,300 flight hours in the E2C, E2D, and the F-A-18 and has completed over 500 landings on a deck just like this. He's a two-time LA Fleet Week veteran, having first attended as a commanding officer of the USS Portland in 2022. And today, he is the captain of the USS Carl Vinson. Please join me in welcoming back Captain Thomas to LA for a few words. Good afternoon and welcome aboard USS Carl Vinson, America's favorite carrier. Two years ago, I came to LA waterfront as the commanding officer of another ship, USS Portland. And I'm here to tell you, LA Fleet Week is the best fleet week in the country. I'm excited to be back. And on behalf of the 3,000 men and women who serve aboard this ship, I'd like to extend my personal gratitude to Mayor Bass, Deputy Mayor Winston, and the City of Los Angeles, Councilman McCosker, for welcoming us so warmly. Mr. Soroka and the Port of LA for hosting us, and the Fleet Week and the Battleship Iowa team for lining up an incredible week of events for us. My sailors and I have been looking forward to this opportunity to meet Angelinos at various events and neighborhoods throughout the greater LA area. And we invite you to come down this weekend to visit USS Carl Vinson. We'd love to return the hospitality and give you the opportunity to, to see firsthand the critical cutting edge technology and the work our sailors do, most of them between the ages of 18 and 29, to preserve the peace and respond in crisis. I am very proud of each of the sailors that I am entrusted to lead, and I'm certain that you will when you meet them too. A big thank you again for welcoming us to LA, and we look forward to seeing you here on board the ship. Go Navy. Thank you, Captain Thomas. A uh, quick shout out, I see them sneaking back behind there, I think on a special tour, but our West Harbor friends, which run West Harbor down here on the waterfront and doing the development, uh, happen to be back there, and they're going to be hosting a great West Harbor After Hours this weekend. So that concludes our remarks. Um, if you have any questions, I'd corner anybody you have behind me instead of just doing an open session of Q&A. And so I'm going to conclude that here, and uh, thank you all for coming down here, and have a great day. Thank you.